Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I wanted to share a quick tip that will help you minimize the chances of your lures getting torn up quickly so that you can save money and also time on the water. Because if you're constantly having to switch out lures, that's precious time you're wasting to be actually fishing. So what it really comes down to is how you rig your lures up and what you're rigging them up on. I prefer to use twist log hooks. These keep your lures nice and secure on the nose of the hook or the nose of the bait rather. Because of that spring, it also has that centering spring on there that helps you rig them up nice and straight. And when you do rig them up on spring lock hooks, make sure that spring is nice and centered on the nose of the lure because if it's off to the side too much it's not going to hold very well and it will usually just rip out of the side so make sure you use that centering spring to get that spring basically centered nicely into the lure that way the actual spring isn't exposed when you put it into the nose of the bait. If it's exposed, I will re-rig it. That way the spring doesn't come out of the side or tear out very easily from the lure. Now, another thing, when you do rig them up weedless, what you don't wanna do is you don't want to, go ahead and show you with the Slam Shady 2.0 here, you don't want to bury the hook into the plastic. So what I mean by that is you don't want to just bury the hook in the plastic where you can't even see the hook out of the top of the bait because what's going to happen is when a fish strikes it's going to tear that soft plastic because the hook is now having to tear itself out of the body of the soft plastic when the fish strikes so when you do rig these up weedless make sure you go out of the top of the body of the lure and if i have to i won't even skin hook the lure you know i'll just have the hook laying nice and flat and to keep the lure nice and straight you, you really have to make sure that hook comes out of the right spot of the lure you don't want it stretched too much or it's going to curve up and you don't want it too short that it's going to come down so make sure it's nice and secure that when you come up you know you slide that lure up the bend of the hook it almost just pops right in place like so and if you need to you can just barely skin hook the plastic you know barely skin hook the point of that hook underneath the plastic that way still keeps it weedless snagless but it's not going to tear a lot of that plastic if a fish strikes because it's not typically going to be the fish that tears up the lure unless it's you know pinfish or puffer fish it's usually going to be how you rig it up and what you rig it up on and another reason why i like to go with these uh, weedless style hooks is because jig heads, the barbs on the jig heads really tear up soft plastics, especially if the soft plastic is constantly, you know, sliding down the barbs. Uh, every time you get a fish strike or whatever the case may be, you have to constantly slide that soft plastic up onto the barbs and it just tears up the nose of the lure and pretty much makes it useless at that point. Something you could do if you are using jig heads and it's tearing up the nose of the bait is just gradually start cutting off, you know, cutting down the nose to cut off the torn up area. And you have basically new meat of the plastic that you could put the jig head into, but eventually you're going to run out of uh, soft plastic. So again, that's why I like to go with these twist lock hooks. Spring keeps it nice and secure. And then when you do put the hook actually into the body of the lure, make sure you're not, you know, burying that hook in the plastic, just, barely skin hook or even leave the hook exposed out of the top of the lure that way when a fish strikes the plastic basically just gets out of the way and then you have a lure ready to go after you catch that fish so hopefully these tips can help you out if you are finding that your soft plastics are getting torn up a lot you know even though lures are very important when it comes to catching fish what's most important is actually finding fish knowing the trends getting a better idea of what the patterns are depending on the time of year or the tides or even weather conditions so if you need help with that highly recommend checking out our salt strong insider club at saltstrong.com where we guarantee you'll start catching more fish in less time so if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them down below 
And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America, especially if you're targeting redfish, sea trout, snook, or flounder. There's nothing else like it because we actually guarantee that you'll start catching more inshore fish while saving time and money. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.